Hi, this is Nir from Polypop Live and in this video we're gonna talk about blend mode and groups. A blend mode is a way to blend the colors of two layers with each other to get a range of really interesting effects. Blend modes are a really popular tool among designers and now you can use this powerful tool in Polypop Live. So let me show you a small example just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. I have here this video alert of a cat sending thunders and if you don't know how to create a video alert I'll put a link for the video alert tutorial in the descriptions below. So this is how the video looks in normal mode but if I'll change the video's mode from a normal mode to multiply the colors of the video will blend with the colors of whatever is underneath it and will create an interesting blend effect. And now because the video's colors blend with the scene and we can actually see what's underneath the video, we can enlarge it to cover the whole screen and make the alert much more interesting and immersive, like this. Now it's very important to know that blend mode only works on groups. And because it only works on groups, let's talk a little bit about groups in Polypop Live. To create a group in Polypop Live, you'll first need to select one layer or more in the scene layout. So if you look in the scene layout, we will see that we have a purple circle layer and another layer on top of it, which is a rotating watermelon. I will select the 3D screen layer of the watermelon, and while pressing shift, I will select also the 2D circle. Now I'm gonna right click with my mouse and select group, or I can just press Ctrl G. We can see in the scene layout that I have a new group layer, and if I'll expand it, I will see the 3D screen layer of the watermelon and the 2D circle. So now if we'll select the new group layer we created in the scene layout, we can see that in the properties we have a blend mode option and if I'll expand the drop down menu, we'll see we have 10 options to choose from. For example, let's choose color burn. And there you go. Grouping several layers together can bring many advantages to your project. First of all, it can really organize your scene layout panel. So for example, let's quickly add an alert with a 2D layer, 3D layer and sound in it. Let's click on the plus button here in the scene layout, go to the Twitch category and add a new follow alert by double clicking it. If we look at the scene layout, we can see that Polypop added a new group, Twitch new follower alert. Expanding the group by clicking on the small triangle next to it will show us all the layers that create the follower alert. So we can see that grouping things together helps clear and organize the scene layout panel and create an easier workflow. Groups will also help you to find, select and move all the layers together in the scene hierarchy. So we can easily move the follower alert beneath another alert and we can also drag and drop it in our global scene. So the alert will appear in all the scenes in our project. Now, if you are not familiar with Polypop's global scene, definitely check out our global scene tutorial, which I will put a link for in the descriptions below. Now, another advantage for groups is that they give you the ability to show and hide several layers together. Before we see how to do that, let's clear the scene by moving the text to the top. If we look in the scene layout, we can see we have a new group named Chess. Let me expand that. And inside there are several layers. We have a 2D text layer. We have a Rook queen and a pawn. So without groups, if we wanted to create an alert that makes them all appear, we would open the library and click on the plus button, add a hotkey, attach it to an action sequence, add emit alert, and then we would have to connect four different wires, one for each layer. But because we have all the layers in one group, I can delete all these alerts and create just one alert that will be connected to the group visible socket. So with only one wire, we can make the whole group appear together. Grouping 3D objects together also allows you to animate them together and add mods to the whole group. So let's select the chess 3D objects layers together. I'm going to press Ctrl G to group only the 3D layers together. And we can see that Polypop created a new toy group that contains the 3D layers. Selecting the toy group in the scene layout will show their properties and we can see that we have a mod option. So clicking the plus button in the mods will show us what mods are available. For example, rotate and we can add a random move to it. Grouping these objects together and add mods to them can save a lot of time and also create really interesting effects. 
A group can also be used to define the alpha mask of a parent group, but because this is a bit advanced, we will create a separate tutorial for the group alpha mask. Now you probably remember that I said before that blend mode can only be used on groups, and you might have asked yourself, what if I want to use a blend mode on one layer only? So worry not, you can actually do that. All you need to do is first group the layer within itself, and I'll show you how to do it. So let's first add an image to our project. We will click on the open library button, and from the images, I will drag and drop a grunge image that I imported before to the project. Now, in order to turn the image into a group, all we need to do is select the image layer in the scene layout and press Ctrl G. And we can see that we now have a group with one image layer inside of it. And we can also see that now we have a blend mode option. So let's change it from normal to multiply. And now we have this rough grungy look to our scene. I can move my camera layer group above the texture so it will not be affected by the texture by dragging it all the way up. And that's it. You now know how to make your project more organized by grouping layers. And we also learned how to change the blend mode of groups and add unique looks and effects to a live stream. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.